Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to add SHA-1 fingerprint or SHA-1 certificate into your Firebase project. So why we add this SHA-1 fingerprint into our Firebase is because there are some features of Firebase which does not work if you do not add SHA-1 fingerprint into your Firebase project. So in this video, we will see how to create one for your application and add it into your firebase so you make it work so let's get started before that if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe now so you won't miss such videos in the future now let's get started so first you have to come to your project and then from here if you're using visual studio code then come and click on new terminal you can also use the command prompt by going to your project directory once you're in the project directory, then you can go ahead and type CD Android to switch to your Android folder. And then in here, type dot slash gradle w space signing report. And here we go. We have all our signing reports. This is the easiest way you can get your SHA-1 fingerprint for your application. So now since our application is in debug mode, right now we have to go and search for our debug so as you can see here the variant and the config should be in debug and in here you will have SHA-1 fingerprint and SHA-256 fingerprint as well so we can copy this SHA-1 fingerprint and then go to our project click on project setting come down in here you will have an option to add the fingerprint in here go ahead click on add fingerprint and paste the SHA-1 fingerprint that you have copied you can also provide the SHA-256 as well it will work so save this one and now you can use these features of Firebase so right now we don't have any SHA-1 fingerprint for our release because in the build.gradle our application is configured only for debug mode if you have your application already configured in the release mode as well then you will have the same thing that you have in here in debug you will have another SHA-1 fingerprint for release as well but there this label will be release and this config will also be release just be sure to copy that one before releasing your application into the play store Copy that one in here, add it in here, and then you will be ready to go. So that's it, guys. I hope that I have solved some of your problems and saved you some time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.